hello guys so today i just must talk to you about vet registration and vet vendoring so i have been um with a client just now he is vet registered but doesn't have an idea of what it means to be vet registered and as a result he has lost some money i mean he owes us money so let me make it clear vet vendor it is the time when your small business has done well enough to receive invoices that are over 50,000 each and every month. Alternatively, you have been trading for the past 12 months, your invoices are summing up to 1 million. So it can be more, it can be less, but then that's, that's you being qualified to be registered. So now I'm not a professional vet vendor. I just know enough to know what is a good deal about vet vending okay so now if you are that um that client that is vet registered so in order for you to claim vet you need to have your output vet minus your input vet that's how much money you will need to owe to SARS so this this lies to a decision of when do you need to be registered when do you really need to be registered as a vet vendor because it has a good part of it and a bad part of it the good part of it is that you can get money back and the bad part of it is that you have to pay money so the input vet is the vet that your customers are charging you if you getting into the service and the output vet is the vet that you charge to your customers when you're offering a service so if maybe it's a retail there are a lot of different items that have different vet um, charges some vets are free some are not so now if you are a supplier you're supplying a certain product and you're charging your clients um, vet you might be charging your client more vet than you receive if it makes sense and then if you do that you can pay more when it comes to vet claiming from SARS. How do I explain this? So now, if I come to you and then I say that, um, please manufacture something for me, you will charge me, let's say, 15%, right now, it's 15% vet, right? So I will pay, instead of paying 10 rand, I will pay... Um, 15 rent so so this means that if i am a vet vendor i can go claim back that 15 rent right so now when it comes to me someone has asked for my service and then i charge them 10 rand uh so i charge them 10 rand and then i say that okay um five rand is for vet so that means my vet scoring is zero i don't owe SARS anything and i'm not gonna pay anything and i'm not gonna receive anything right so now if it's the other way if your output vet is bigger than your input vet you pay if your input vet is bigger than your output vet you receive money if it makes sense so it's very good for you to decide when do you need to be registered for vet because it can be complicated some of the things are not even vended and your vet claim can be even declined if your client the one you are claiming that you have made a vet on do not have their vet number being registered on their invoice that vet can be invalid those type of things so just go into the vet business when you are fully aware if not get someone who's professional who's doing this as their career get them out and then um ask them to to to, to understand how does the vet thing work really before you get into it it can be very complicated and it can cost you a lot of money so make a wise decision really